and then we fold it. Cause I'm gonna get Botox. Does it hurt? It's <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, what's up? Guess where I am on this fine morning? Korea! And you know what that means? That means it's time for a glow up. So I decided for this video, I'm going to just change how I completely look. And I have like a whole list of things I want to change about myself because I'm going through an identity crisis. So this is great timing. And today I made an appointment to get my hair done, but I kind of want to just like change it up a bit, change my vibe. So I might get a wavy hair perm or dye my hair because my sisters and I recently went to this guy who just tells you everything about yourself, what colors look good on you, what hairstyle looks good on you. And this man said I would look good with shorter wavy hair, but I don't like my hair short, so I don't know what he was talking about, but I'm gonna test out wavy hair on me. Let me just show you guys the before. My hair is just like regular black hair, just the norms. Let's see how much we could change about my face and my look. Hi, I'm getting my hair done too. I shouldn't tell you guys that. We're on our way to get our hair done. This is Emily's hair right now. It's, it's super dead. It's super dead and super long. Right now it's curled, but like when it's not curled, it's like... It literally feels like Barbie hair, like the split end. When we did our personal color, he said that Emily would look best with shorter hair and khaki brown color. So that's what she's doing. Guys, we're here. Guys, I'm just like so scared because I can't speak this language. My own language, my own home country language. So awkward, guys. I wish I was good at Korean because it's literally the most awkward freaking thing. They were like, you can't really film. They said like, I have to do something. And I was like, oh, I don't know what that means. I'm like, not that good at Korean. And she was like, you know what? It's okay. That's how I'm looking right now. Super snazzy. I'm really scared I'm gonna come out looking like a grandma, but um, I feel like I jumped the gun too fast. Same with Emily. Emily's over there bleaching her hair right now. Emily's telling me to shut up. <laughs> Emily's currently texting me to just shut my mouth. And she's saying it's so humbling. <laughs> Guys, Emily has joined me. Look how blonde her hair is right now. We look like Dumb and Dumber right now. I didn't even show them a picture of what kind of hair I want, so I'm so scared. If this turns out good, guys, you Wait, bet. Wait, you didn't show them an intro pic? No, I just like want like a simple wavy hair. If this turns out good, you bet I'm gonna act completely different. My whole entire personality is gonna change. <laughs> That's our favorite way to embarrass each other. All right, round two. We're doing the root perm now. I think before it was like the test try. I'm not really sure, but Emily re dyed her hair again. And it's looking even more blonde. Same, my like roots are itchy. I just want to like scratch it. <laughs> OMG guys, look at our hair. Like it literally looks like someone blow dried it and it's perfect. And this is Emily's hair. <laughs> it's literally so light. You look blonde in this oh camera. It's like hockey brown and look at it. And I cut it really freaking short. Her hair and, is not dead anymore. And my hairstylist gave me like long layers so I can still put it in like braids and stuff if I wanted to. But like I literally love it so much. It has like a green tint to it because like they had to cancel out all the orange and red because we have black hair. Yeah, so it's like they made it as ashy as possible so it's kind of like green looking up close but from far away it looks so good. Success! Step one to changing our whole appearance in Korea. Yeah. I'll see you guys for step two. 
of our glow up. Hello everyone, it is a few days later I got my hair done. Honestly, my hair feels like the perm is gonna go away soon, but to change my appearance, I obviously have to go shopping in Korea because the clothes here are next level and I just need them, it's different than America, it hits different. So we're gonna try finding a new outfit, a new vibe. So yeah, but this department store kind of looks freaking fancy as hell. So let's see if there's anything that I could wear. Everyone's telling me this would match me. It's very Korean. A lot of the stores here are like half a grand. Like the clothing is like half a grand or more. But this store is cute. How do I even dress myself? Oh my god! Guys, tell me this is not Korean without telling me it's not Korean. The undershirt? We came to a different mall and I finally found some very Korean styled clothing. So let's try it on. Definitely look like a bot. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is gonna be a pass. I think it looks pretty good. It looks very like trending Korean. The t-shirts, so Korean. Look at this. Tell me this is not Korean. Yeah, it's really nice. This is so Korean, oh my god. Like the little pockets over here. Mm. Even this color. What it isn't? What it isn't? Oh my god. So Korean. Yeah, this is what they wear. This is what they wear in like K-dramas. I want a graphing t-shirt from here. <gasps> this is so Korean. This is so Korean. Oh my god. This. <laughs> this dress. What it isn't. What does that even mean? I feel like Korean people love oversized clothing. So like a lot of sportswear. So I kind of want to buy like a regular t-shirt because I think that's what they really F with. <gasps> this is cute. <laughs> Guys, I found this store and it's literally your guys who become Bagum. become Korean. Because okay, let me show you guys what I got. Actually, I won't show you guys. I'll show you guys later. Keep you guys interested. Being mysterious. Can you not zoom up on my face? Oh, look at these. We've realized that this parachute style and like shoe on linen style is very popular in Korea right now. It's the next day and the last day of this transformation. Today, I'm gonna go get my nails done. But before that, I want to change into one of the outfits I bought yesterday because I bought some cute outfits and I feel like I have to show you guys. Let me just show you, all right? All right, so the first outfit, I got this white maxi skirt that's like this linen feel but also shaped like a parachute it's not something i would normally pick out if i was in the states so i'm really excited for that i also got this t-shirt to wear with it but this t-shirt is so comfortable i also got this shirt and it's like this sheer linen style i found that a lot of koreans love this fabric because in the summer it's so goddamn hot here and then to pair with these pants i got this parachute maxi skirt in gray and it has like these ruffled pockets and of course i needed to get another graphic shirt because koreans love their graphic shirts and i got this t-shirt that says what it isn't and i don't really understand it i saw that the guys had a matching shirt with it so i got my boyfriend one Okay, this is the first outfit. I freaking love it. Look at the back. 
and I just really like the shape of this. It's the bottom. Second outfit I love. I just paired it with one of my pants. And I think this is just like very Korean student. Hello, I'm here to study or like going on a convenience run outfit. Third outfit that I'm probably wearing out to get my nails done. Ta -da! So cute. The maxi skirt, I love it. I thought I wouldn't, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'm so excited because A, I would always wanted to get my nails done in Korea. And B, I really wanted to get the Korean styled art designs. Pop up some pictures. They're so cute. They look so complicated. I don't know how people do them, but I'm so excited. I haven't gotten my nails done in so long. I am here, just don't know where. These are my nails before. Freaking God, the nails took so freaking long. It took the nails person freaking three hours to do my nails. That's a whole plane ride to Japan from Korea. These are the nails. I am so happy with them. I honestly really had to trust the process with these because at first I was so concerned they were gonna turn out bad, but I am so impressed. This was 230 thousand korean one so it's like 190 dollars but guess where i'm going now for my next step i'm going to olive young duh like if you're in korea and you don't go to olive young did you even go to korea i went to a personal color stylist and he recommended me a list of makeup products that would match my skin type so you best believe i'm going to olive young and buying everything there we're here at Olive Young and we're gonna work on this face, get some makeup done, and basically buy the whole store. It is like 50 freaking hundred thousand degrees out today and I'm like sweating balls. Okay, the only one thing I wanna buy is like blush, eyeshadow, my contour, and basically lip. everything. <laughs> yeah. Erica's shade is more golden brown. This is more cool tone. So like these two. I was Erica? recommended like this orange bright ass color. Does she it doesn't... look like I wear orange? No. It was like this sort of color. Oh no, what the hell? They recommended that is, it to you. That is way too bold. And there is like this color. Let's try it. This is a tint. Oh my fuck. I feel yeah. stuck. There's like kids at our age here and I'm like really awkward. But, oh, like this. I don't like this. Why? I feel like I look gray. When no. I put this on. It's like orangey. That's totally your color. Double eyelid tape. A lot of Koreans and like Asian people wear this when they have monolids like mine. I've never tried this before, so we could try it together. I know a lot of Korean people use like these sponges. They actually like this more than these sponges. Okay. Yeah, I would try this one. Volume clip. Yeah, guys, I got a root perm, right? Look at my root perm. Does it look like I have a root perm? No, root perm, not there. I want to get some like popular skincare items. Get the best of the best in skincare here. You get two, two sunscreen. My baby this was as much as my nails, so two hundred dollars. Let's go. Very expensive transformation. It's time to do our makeup. I just 
washed everything off from this morning. Um, you know, I have a good friend Paulina and Frederick right there, but we're just gonna let them come along with the ride. We literally bought so much freaking stuff. All right, first things first, let's do the hair. I got a root perm and I literally did jack shit nothing. So we're gonna see if this clip does any wonders. Oh my God. How do I even do this? Like this. I believe it's like this. I actually don't know, but we're just gonna roll with it. Next, we are going to do the double eyelid sticker. This is how it looks like. Basically, if you guys don't know what this is, you literally put it on the crease of your eyes and it makes it look like you have a fold, which is called a double eyelid. Oh my God, I did it. Bruh, why oh, does it look kind of good? I kind of messed it up over here, but Oh my god, is this how it feels like to have a double eyelid? I look ridiculous right now. What am I doing with my life right now? Before, do you see it right there? And then, we fold it. Oh, that looks freaking so bad. It looks like I got bitten by a bee. Next is, of course, skincare. I'm so excited for skincare. Oh my god, I look like I need to sleep. I look tired, like... Anyways, moving on. Oh, look, I did double eyelid tape, Whoa. but now my eyes are uneven. And this toner, no, this is a serum, and this toner won number one in Korean skincare toners. Mm, my god. I love serums, I love toners. Oh my god, it literally feels like I'm putting like magic water on my face. It's like light as water, but so moisturizing. It doesn't smell like anything. Literally, no fragrance, which is literally a good sign. This double eyelid thing is throwing me the f off. Next, you know Korean people love their sunscreen. They have bajillions and bajillions of bajillions of sunscreens out there that are so popular. Okay. I like it. Yeah, you could barely feel it. Approved. I really like that. Man, why do you need a fan? It's a necessity. <gasps> Look how cute. Let me fan you guys. They do not want to be fanned by you. It goes stronger. Oh my God. Let's bring this to Japan. Apparently it's really hot. It's time for makeup. I'm so excited. Kind of scared, honestly. I got this cute ass makeup brush. And also I got these sponges, these Jelly King sponges, because apparently a lot of Korean people use it. Feels like a normal sponge. I don't know what the difference is. All right, next, let's try the brush. And then I have these like acne scars that I'm gonna cover it with. Oh my God, this feels so nice. I feel like a makeup artist. <gasps> this is definitely makes it like more full coverage, I feel like. Oh my freaking Paulina and Frederick freaking hurts. Okay, we're not even gonna attempt to cover that because it hurts like a mother fricker. Now, the contour. Hmm, it seems a little light, honestly. Comment down below if my nose looks any different. Question mark. Next, let's do blush. I'm really interested because apparently this is my color. I feel like I will just look gray with this, but Let's try her out. Why is it coming out literally white on my hand? It's, why is it so powdery, first of all? Let me know if you guys see it, because I don't freaking see it. Why is this so chalky? And why is it literally white on my skin? I feel like I have to return this one. I don't like this color. Let's move on, because that was a like way too light on my skin. Eyes, I'm so excited. This is the eyeshadow palette I got, which I really fuck with. I'm not a big color person anyways. Oh my God, having a double eyelid is so sick. I could literally do what all the beauty gurus do and like go along my crease or whatever. I love that this palette has like all shades. So I'm gonna try doing like the Eggos heart thing that people do in Korea. Oh my God, I look so Korean. Oh my God. This is crazy. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I look so Korean right now. I mean, I'm freaking, I am Korean, but like, I look like I actually belong here. 
yeah. Now it's time for the lips and I'm genuinely scared for this because I don't know if I really like these colors. Um, apparently, not just me. So apparently you use the velvet to line your lips and then you use the water tint as like the point or the highlight. These are the two colors. She's kind of cute. Let's see if that matches me. Mm, it's actually really pretty in her lips. Oh my God, all done with my makeup. How do I look? Do I look any different? I feel like this looks so much more better on a phone camera. Anyways, um, I have to meet up with Evelyn because I'm gonna get Botox on my chin because Korea has the best surgical procedures ever. I feel like I look so different. Oh my God, you can't even recognize me. Anyways, um, Korea has the best like surgical anything, beauty anything. So I decided it'd be fun if I got Botox. And so I'm gonna get fill jaw Botox here because I chew so much freaking gum. So I'm gonna slim it down. And I just realized I forgot freaking mascara, which is why I look so different. But anyways, I am gonna go on my way to meet up with Evelyn and I'm gonna see her reaction. Let's go. Evelyn, do I look any <gasps> different? Kind of. It looks like you actually put makeup on. Look at my double eyelid. <gasps> Wait, you put double eyelid? Yeah. No doesn't it look so weird? weird? It feels so weird. Oh my god. It's crazy. It doesn't look different though. Your eyes don't look that different. I feel like I look so different. And then the blush, literally like nothing. Is do I look more Korean, guys? And then I put like the egg was hard. Yeah. Oh. I'm getting Botox. I'm in this surgical area. It's called a waiting lounge. Oh, I'm in the waiting lounge and I'm really freaking scared. Guys, there's like surgery for everything in this building. Yeah. Boot job, face contour. I'm gonna get everything right now. Plot twist. I got jaw Botox um, like half a year ago and I definitely think my face got slimmer. I'm about to get a big ass needle stuck in my jaw. No, I sweat all over. Guys, I'm back from the Botox. I feel so, so, I, I don't really know. I, I actually don't know how I feel. Apparently, symptom or like you don't really feel it kick in until a month later. I don't really know if it will do anything. Apparently, Botox slims your face down if you chew a lot and I'm a big chewer I eat a lot of food and I chew lots of gum and my face is just like prone to look like a freaking box So I was like, you know what? I'm in Korea might as well just get Botox which is 10 times cheaper than in America and in New York, but yeah, that is it for today's video Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me put my hair down for the full like fuck we got the hair perm. We got the root perm that is not even there anymore. We got the clothes, which I really, really, really like the clothes. And we got the makeup. We got the skincare. We got the surgical procedures done. And I got my nails done. Do I belong here? I feel like I fit the criteria. Anyways, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.